Okay, this is the mini project response to film, which is about the Hurt Locker, which we watched last week in lesson. It's directed by Catherine Bijlow, who is, if it's pronounced Bijlow, I apologise, Miss Catherine, if it's not spelled, uh, pronounced properly. She is the former wife of James Cameron, who James Cameron directed Avatar, the one he also directed Titanic, making a million. And, but she won all the Oscars. And I always wanted to watch The Hurt Locker. And when we was told that we are going to be watching it, I was very excited. Interesting. What's he doing? I'm going to die. I want to die comfortable. Most people said they seen it before, going, no, it's terrible. Don't like it. It's not Avatar. I don't like it. But, you know, it's give it a go. And I bloody loved it. Get a shot! I was scared. Then I, I don't know everyone was saying they hate it either. I was just like, I liked it. I don't know if it's just me, if you like it, I don't know. But this is the response mini project that we have. And hopefully, you'll get a better idea why I like it to these questions that we have in front of us. Um, and the first one pretty much asks, Do you feel affected by it in some way? Um, I was affected by it as a means of that was bloody amazing. I really enjoyed it. Um, don't think this is what it's asking though. It's um, it's a it's kind of a drama slash war. It's like a war drama, which is um, it's got a couple of stories going on. We're going on a mission, and my job is to keep you safe so we can keep going on missions. Combat, buddy. Go! Everybody, get back! And if you watch the trailer, it'll it's like big explosions and bombs and fighting and gunfighting. But when you actually watch it, it's actually rather a really serious feel about what's going on now. But right over in Iraq and Afghanistan. So if it's me that way, because watching it, I was like, this is actually going on right now. Whether the story is actually really true, and you do get people that are wounded and shot and killed in the film and you hear on the news it's out there a new soldier has died more on our main story now the debate over the UK's military involvement in Afghanistan and the recent British deaths there amongst the British troops to die in Afghanistan as part of this latest offensive in Helmand province was rifleman James Backhouse he was just 18 years old and killed trying to rescue his injured colleagues the teenager was on his first tour of duty and was due to return home to Castleford in West Yorkshire today another soldier's died he's just like what this it's crazy it, it just, you're watching it again this is just a film it doesn't happen in real life but it does unlike avatar which is definitely doesn't go on but who knows what the government does um yeah the next one so does it bring like, like i was saying it says does it bring home the horrors of war more clearly than a bro than a nude broadcast it news is like on the spot this is live this is actually happening right now Holy oh, shit, that guy's Holy shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that is the motherfucking window that saved my life. In a film, also, you think, you know, it's not very, it's not a true story, it's not happening right now. You know, you don't think much of it, you just think, you just enjoy the film. But, it, when you put your thinking cap on, I don't think this is actually going out, this is happening right now. It could, could be happening to your friend's son. It could be happening to anyone. It it definitely brings more horror. You see more violence. Got it. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I got that one. I didn't even look at it for real. And I saw it. That was pretty weak. It's news broadcasting. It's just over and over again. And within a week, the story would have changed. Something else would have happened. A duck would have got lodged in a up a pig, I don't know, something could have happened. And the broadcast that happened last week would have just disappeared. 